The Lord designed scripture to teach us about himself, how to seek him, life, what growing into the image of Jesus is, relationships, priorities, so much more. However, scripture isn't given just for us to learn. Scripture is given to fuel and direct our transformation into the image of Jesus. Hi friends, we need to fill ourselves with scripture. This doesn't mean we should read as much of the Bible as possible, as fast as possible, though at times that's a helpful practice. In Colossians 3, verse 16, we hear Paul saying, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Paul is saying it's vital for us to permit what we read in scripture to be absorbed into our person and become part of us. Paul says we should permit scripture, the word of God, to dwell in us and permit it to dwell richly. This takes time, repetition, thinking on the passage, brewing on it, learning, trying it out, reading more. This is a marathon, not a sprint. I have known far too many who are fluent with the Bible who have not been impacted by what they read. The Bible is meant to lead us to Jesus and to help us follow him. In his book, The Life You Always Wanted, John Ortberg says, So the Bible is to help us learn to live in the kingdom of God here and now. I have never known someone leading a spiritually transformed life who had not been deeply saturated in Scripture. For this to happen, we need to consistently soak ourselves in the Word of God. At times, this means reading to absorb longer portions of Scripture. More often, it means focusing on just a brief passage, a verse, or a phrase, or word. To assist us, I'm adding a new playlist where I'll share just a verse or, or brief passage for us to consider, think through, and pray through, and maybe even study. I'm calling the new playlist Verses for New Life. I'll share some sections of scripture that impact me I would love to include sections of scripture that impact you. Brief passages, like a verse or two. Send me a note, please, at scott at sashade.com. And as we share verses together, I'd love to use yours as well. Let's permit these small pieces, these bite-sized pieces of the Word of God to form our hearts, our minds, our motivations, and our actions. This is Scott Shade. Blessings.